X and Y enter into a joint venture to take a building contract for 1 crore 20 lakhs. They provide the following information regarding the expenditure incurred by them. X bought materials and cement for 30 lakh and paid architect fees of 4 lakh. So basically X has incurred a total expense of 34 lakhs. Okay, this is one first entry. Next Y bought materials and cement for 70 lakhs. Paid license fees of 2 lakh and bought machinery for 8 lakh. So we don't distinguish what is the total expenditure by Y. 70 plus 2 plus 8, 80 lakh. 80 lakh spent by Y. This is entry 2. Next, at the end of the contract, contract money is received. That's entry 3. What is the contract money? It was 1 crore 20 lakhs. Y took the machinery for a value of 6 lakh. This is the fourth entry. You are asked to show joint venture, no, profits and losses to be shared equally. And we close it and find the profit and loss. You are asked to show joint venture account and Y's accounts in the books of X. Of course, there would be a final entry for showing the settlement. Either X has to pay Y or Y has to pay X. X has received the compensations. So in all likelihood, X will have to pay Y. Let us just start. What was the first entry? X spent 34 lakhs for the joint venture. Spent 34 lakhs for the joint venture. So the entry would be joint venture account debit to bank. 34 lakhs. Leaving the figures in lakhs. Next. Y spent 80 lakhs for the joint venture. So joint venture account is debited to Y's account. Amount 80 lakhs. So Y has spent 80 lakhs. Next, contract money received by X is 1 crore 20 lakhs or 120 lakhs. Who receives? X receives. So bank account debit. And what is this? This is income of the joint venture. Therefore, credit joint venture, bank account debit to joint venture, 120 lakhs. Y took machinery for 6 lakh. Therefore, Y's account debit to joint venture. To joint venture. When machinery was bought, joint venture account was debited. When it's being taken over, it's going to be credited with the value at which it is going to be taken over, which is 6 lakh. So now, what is the profit or loss? It is 120. 20 lakhs. 120 minus 34 minus 6. Minus 80 lakhs. 120 income. Sorry. So your joint venture account is debited with 34 and it is debited with 80. So we have subtracted. It is credited with 120 and credited with 6. The Profit is therefore 12 lakhs. The total expenditure being 140 and the income being 126. 12 lakhs is the profit. What is the entry for profit and loss? Since profit joint venture account will now be closed with the share of profit. This is just a small working. Therefore, joint venture account debit. To profit and loss account, assuming it's equal, no, it is equal, it's given as equal. The profit and loss is X's share of profit is 6 lakh and Y's account, Y's share of profit being 6 lakh. And finally, we'd have to see what is the balance in Y's account and what money needs to be remitted to Y's account. <clears throat> Y's account has been credited for 80,000, uh, sorry, uh, 80 lakhs. 
debited for 6 lakh and again credited for 6 lakh. So it's basically y has to be paid 80, y has received 6 and y needs to be paid 6 of the profit. Therefore totally 80 lakhs would be the remittance to y. 80 lakhs would be the remittance to y. This is nothing but y's account. Credit to y's account is 80 here. The debit to y's account is 6 and the credit again of 6. Therefore, we get a net balance of 80 lakhs being the money. If money is paid, y's account debit to bank, we would spend 80 lakhs and all accounts would be closed. Let us take a look at the ledger accounts. Joint venture account is debited to bank for the met for the expenditure made by X because this is all in the books of X for expenditure incurred by X joint venture account debit to material to architect 34 lakh joint venture account debit to Y Y's expenses of 80 lakh by bank contract price of 120 lakhs machinery taken over was 6 lakh therefore the profit is 12 lakh which has been apportioned as 6 lakh and 6 lakh. What happens in Y's account? Y's account, 80 lakhs and 6 lakh. 80 lakh is his expenses by Y and 6 lakh is his share of profit. But Y also took over machinery for a valuation of 6 lakh. Therefore, ultimately, Y needs to be paid 80 lakh. Assuming that X has made payment, Y's account debit to bank, we get 80 lakhs. This is exactly what we worked out in the form of journal entries. In the books of Y, the joint venture account would be as uh, below. In the books of Y, the account would be the joint, the accounts prepared would be joint venture account and X is account and X is account. So what would Y do? For any expenses which are paid by X, joint venture would be debited and X account would be credited. If X is to receive money, then X's account would be debited and if it is on account of income from joint venture, joint venture account would be credited. X for his own expenses, if money is, goes out of his bank account, his bank account would be credited. So let us just see, for the expenses of 34 lakhs which were met by X, what would be the entry in the books of Y? It would be joint venture account debit, joint venture account debit to X's account, 34 lakhs, joint venture to X's account. The posting is also here, joint venture to X account. In Y's book, Y spent 80 lakh as expenses, therefore joint venture account debit to bank. Joint venture account debit to bank, 80 lakhs. The contract price was actually received by X. So the entry here would not be by bank, it would be by X account. So by X's account, 120,000, the posting is also here. Contract price, X is received 1 crore 20 lakhs, posting should be here, here also there is a mistake, this would be 1 crore 20 lakhs. The total would therefore be 1 crore 20 lakhs. 1 crore 20 lakhs. Contract price received by X, so therefore X's account debit to joint venture 1 crore 20 lakhs. The machinery taken over, 6 lakh taken over, therefore by whom? By Y. So the entry would be machinery account debit to joint venture, 6 lakh. The balance again 12 lakh. If you notice the figures are all the same, 34 lakh, 8 lakh, 80 lakh, 120 lakh and 6 lakh. It is just that there is a small difference in the posting. When Y spends money, Y says it's to bank. 
when x spends money in the books of y x's account is debited vice versa in the books of x the profit 6 lakh to x's account profit and loss y's share of profit is taken to profit and loss account when we prepare x's account by joint venture account 34 lakh by joint venture again 6 lakh share of profit to joint venture was 1 crore 20 lakh therefore this this total happens to be right this is 80 lakh being the money which is received by y bank account debit to x's account 80 lakh bank account debit to x's account 80 lakh